Hello YouTube, this is Irish Bear 76 coming to you live to talk about being tired, fatigue. Um, all of us with MS have fatigue. Um, it's a daily symptom. Doesn't matter if you're having uh, a relapse or if you're in the remission stage, you're going to be tired. Um, a lot of people want to know why. Uh, why am I so tired? I didn't used to be tired when I was younger. I had all the energy in the world. But this MS, it's just running me into the ground. It's making me depressed. It's my legs feel heavy and everything, you know, all these symptoms that we have. Um, I think I have a, a pretty good idea why we're so tired all the time. And it is that there has been research that has some mind-boggling statistics in it for the Epstein-Barr virus. Epstein-Barr is the causative virus that causes mononucleosis. It also can cause Burkett's lymphoma, which you don't see in Europe or the U.S. too much, but it's, uh, you see it sometimes in Africa. But I'll digress real quick. Um, Epstein-Barr causes mono. If you've ever had mono, which I have, um, mono causes you for like a month, six weeks, to have no energy, your, your glands swell up, you have a sore throat, you run a fever, you just want to sleep all day, uh, ugh, ugh, you feel horrible, okay? Kind of how you feel with MS, where you're just, oh, I'm so tired, what's going on? So, the Epstein-Barr virus is in the herpes family, and lo and behold, I've read two things on MS that, that really make me wonder if why they're not going ahead and saying it's Epstein-Barr that's the cause of the virus. One thing I read was a staggering amount of people with MS, MS are, are seropositive for Epstein-Barr virus, which causes um, mononucleosis. It's somewhere in the neighborhood in one study of like 90%. That's 9 out of 10 people they drew blood on and analyzed had the Epstein-Barr virus in their blood, meaning at some point they'd had mono. Now, did they have active mono then? No, but earlier in their lives they had had mononucleosis. That is interesting because we're all tired, okay? Mono makes you feel tired. Um, other than being uh, seropositive for mononucleosis or having... Uh, evidence in the blood that you've had it. Um, you also see um, a lot of people with MS have uh, chronic fatigue. Uh, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome is a syndrome that you get after getting mono where the mono goes away but the tiredness never really does. It's almost like uh, when you get a cold sore, another herpes virus. When you get a cold sore, how when you're stressed out or whatever, it'll pop up and you'll get a cold sore. Well, people who've had mono, when they get under stress and whatever, instead of getting one of those little cold sores, they get really tired, and they call that chronic fatigue syndrome. Well, MS. Think about it. They've been wanting to implicate a herpes virus since the beginning, once they figured out it was autoimmune. I've read uh, that they actually came up with, with a, a variant of, a, of her Epstein-Barr called herpes 9. They, they want to come out and say it's some type of herpes virus, we believe, that causes MS. But they haven't come out and said that yet. But we got the chronic fatigue. We've got how it's latent. But then you have flare-ups, almost like when you have a cold sore. That's how MS works. Uh, if you get cold sores, you notice that it's, it's when you're already sick with something else or you're under a lot of stress or you haven't been sleeping and you get that, that little cold sore. Well... That's almost how, how MS works in the relapsing remitting phase. Um, when you're tired, you're stressed, or you're coming down with something, that's when you see a lot of your, your symptoms. So the, I think there's something there, guys. There's something there. Um, so this chronic fatigue, okay? You have fatigue with MS. You see fatigue after you have mono. Um, I've read research, so that's one thing. Uh, that might have something to do with it. The other thing is, is uh, why we might be tired, and these are just theories, but I'm just trying to help, um, uh, help us figure this out together. But um, in a normal nerve, uh, when you don't have MS, you have the thought to do something, and it travels through that nerve totally quick. You know, it's like, think it, do it. But with MS, people say, like, my legs feel heavy, which I've had that feeling a billion times, or you lose your train of thought or whatever. 
I think another reason why we're so tired is that instead of having a smooth transition from thought to action, that because our, our, our nerves are being attacked by our immune system, that a lot of that, does the nerve impulse is getting out, like electricity from the toaster cord, as I said in an earlier video. So you gotta think, 365 days a year, every time we wanna do something, if we're losing half of that signal to other, you know, to other muscle groups that we're not even meaning to use, that's got to tire you out. So you have a kind of a, a double-edged sword here. You've got, on one hand, probably, uh, mono or Epstein-Barr virus causing MS and on the other side you know which is going to make you tired from the chronic fatigue and then on the other hand we have um, just the act of tying your shoes where you know your normal person without MS thinks it and does it with us we have nerve impulses going everywhere so we're having to work a hundred times more to do that simple task well if you extrapolate that Every day, every hour, every second, just these simple tasks that most people can do with very little difficulty, with our brain sending the chemical electrical impulse to do it, and that chemical electrical impulse getting lost all the time, you're going to be worn out. And I think that's why we're worn out all the time. So, there's my theory. Uh, I may be wrong, probably am, but I think by putting it that way, I think we can all pretty much guess that one of those two things or both in combination are why we are so tired. So what I would like for you to do, all my great friends out there with MS, write me back and tell me what you think about this theory. You can say, Irish bear, I think you're full of shite. Or you can say, Irish bear, uh, boy, that seems like a pretty good explanation. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can even, you know, say I'm out of line for hypothesizing all these things without being a scientist. But um, I think we have to come up with the answers ourselves. And uh, the closer we get to understanding what causes it and why, the better we'll get at uh, treating, treating ourselves, making ourselves well. So uh, just like uh, avoiding stress may avoid cold sores and avoiding stress may avoid exacerbations, we can uh, lean on one another to uh, come up with ways to uh, avoid the stress. Um, that's pretty much my video. Um, make sure you drop me a line and tell me what you think uh, about this theory. I'd like to see uh, your thoughts on it, MS community out there. And uh, God bless you. This is Irish Bear 76 saying goodbye, take care, God bless, and uh, keep... You know the rest.